Hello everyone. Welcome you all to Imagination Gallery. Here we try to show you different types of drawings and stories behind it. So if you are an art lover and wants to know the unknown facts, press the subscribe button now. Now let me introduce you to today's topic. Today our Africa series painting journey will take us to the land of dense forest, Congo, the colonial era. Don't miss out this amazing painting and stories. So watch this video till the end. Here's presenting Congo at the colonial era. Friends, through our Africa series, we have painted many beauties of Africa, painted the natural beauty of this continent and the lifestyle of different indigenous people also. Today we will see another form of this continent which will make us think once again that there is a lot of suffering and sacrifice behind any freedom. Today we will be painting the Congolese colonial times and listening to the stories of how Congo gained independence and what the colonial age was like. It will remind us that the freedom we have, we have now as one human race is what we should care for and pray for peace for all. This painting, you know, shows how slavery and misbehavior were practiced in, the, in Congo during the times of colonial era, how they were punished. It shows the brutality of the colonial masters. This painting, uh, I would like to say that is inspired by an exhibition named Congo Chronicle and the times of Patrice Lumumba. Art you know is not what we see but what we are forced to think about it is certainly not all glitz and glams all the time but at times situation demands to look beyond time and rewind so that we can again hope pray and care for all human race so looking at the current situation in this world it had to be done Peace is what we need. In, in 1885, at the Conference of Berlin, King Leopold II of Belgium formally acquired rights to the Congo territory, 75 times the size of Belgium. King Leopold was the first European to explo exploit Congo's people and rich natural resources. Rubber and ivory quotas were imposed on every village and forced labor was universal. For 23 years, the Congo was King Leopold's personal possession. Eventually, his horrifying human rights abuses were exposed. And in 1908, the Belgian par parliament caved to international pressure and took over administration of the territory. Under Belgian colonialism, Congolese people remained repressed, that means unable to own land, vote or travel freely. But the country's government and infrastructure improved. The first nationwide Congolese political party, the Congo National Movement, was launched in 1858 by Patrice Lumumba and other Congolese leaders. In January 1959, riots broke out in Leopoldville, now uh, it is called Kinhansha, after a royal rally was held calling for the independence of the Congo. Violin Altercations between Belgian forces and the Congolese also occurred later that year and Belgium 
which previously maintained the that independence for the Congo would not be possible in the immediate future, suddenly capitulated and began making arrangements for the Congo's independence. The Congo became an independent republic on June 30, 1960. The territory of Congo was, you know, friends, rich in ivory and the other minerals, including diamonds. So now when we talk about Congo and colonialism, this will be incomplete without Patrice Lumumba. Patrice Lumumba was a Congolese politician and independence leader who served as the first Prime Minister of the Independent Democratic Republic of the Congo. From June until September 1960. He played a significant role in the transformation of the Congo from a colony of Belgium into an independent republic. Ideologically, an African nationalist and pan-Africanist, he led the Congolese National Movement Party from 1958 until he was assassinated. Patrice Lumumba is best known for becoming the first Prime Minister of the newly independent Democratic Republic of Congo in 1960, for being forced out of office after less than three months, and for being assassinated the following year. For decades, the question of how Patrice Lumumba was the first Prime Minister of the newly independent Congo died and the related questions who killed him and why were subject to much speculation. The short answer is that he was executed by a firing squad on January 17, 1961. African resistance uh, challenged the colonial regime from the beginning, friends. It is estimated that about 10 million Congolese were died or affected due to hunger, disease and starvation that time. The plunder of Congo under uh, King Leopold's ancestor, uh, under his ancestors, uh, Leopold II, remains one of the history's greatest crimes. An outcry over the mass slaughter forced him to surrender the country in 1908 to the Belgian government. Friends, Democratic Republic of Congo is located in Central Africa. So uh, let's get to know something about the country uh, uh, demographically and geographically uh, as in now. It is the second largest country in the continent. The capital Kinhansa is located on the Congo River. Congo subsequently was plunged into a devastating civil war. The conflict officially ended in 2003, although fighting continued in the eastern part of the country. It is rich in natural resources. It boasts vast deposits of industrial diamonds, cobalt and copper, one of the largest forest reserves in Africa, and about half of the hydroelectric potential of the continent. Congo's many ethnic groups and regions have developed a mosaic of traditional arts, including painting, sculpture, music and dance. There has, has been a tendency to classify sculpture or, and carving according to the styles of the areas from which they originate. Luba art dominates the southeast region and reflects the strong influence of women in society through statues depicting motherhood. The cities, especially Kinhansa, are the greatest creators, propagators and promoters of national cultural life and arts. 
the Academy of Fine Arts in Kenhansa offers training programs in painting, sculpture, carving, architecture and ceramics. Friends, a land of steamy jungles hiding half the world's lowland gorillas, masses of forest elephants and hooting swinging troops of chimpanzees. The Republic of Congo is on the cusp of becoming one of the finest ecotourism destinations in Africa. But look through the history, the most blighted nation on earth goes to the polls this weekend more in hope than expectation that stability and peace might result. In Congo, mass suffering has been a way of life ever since. The Belgian King Leopold enslaved millions in the 19th century. This was the painted history and story of Congo, my friends. Well, what more can I say? We will definitely try to surprise you and amaze you and bring you peace with Africa series. This diversity of Africa and so many colors and history will draw us towards it again and again. So are you with us? Let this be one family. Let's color the life with Imagination Gallery. Friends, uh, we could have made a justice to today's painting history of Congo at the colonial era. Convey your feedbacks and suggestions about our drawing session and do not hesitate to write here in the comment box. So if you like our drawing sessions and you want to know about different paintings and the stories behind it, then do not forget to subscribe our channel. Here's wishing you a sterling weekend. Have peace and stay safe. Bye for now.